watching part 2 of the technical preview of Windows 10. In part 1 I reviewed lots of new features. Here in part 2 I wanted to start off by letting you know that in the fine print there's an agreement when you go to install this uh, test release of uh, Windows 10 technical preview. Basically Microsoft is saying that they are going to be doing some data collection. Some people are claiming this as a keylogger, basically uh, secretly behind the scenes capturing data uh, on what you're trying to do and sending that to Microsoft. Now, uh, data mining and taking information is very useful when it comes to trying to improve products. So Microsoft is saying that getting information on how and, and why you are collecting certain things might actually help them. It's up to you to be informed and you should know that that's what's happening in the scenes for certain cases that I pointed out right here. You can read the fine print yourself. Now, another question you guys asked me about is how much space does this use? Well, 10 gigs at least of space once installed, as you can see right there. I haven't installed anything extra. It's just the vanilla install. At least 10 gigs you need free. Now, going off over the look and feel again, one thing I didn't show you in detail was the borderless look. This modern style with flat icons, very nice. I gotta admit that they have improved to make things simpler, cleaner, and more modern. And uh, definitely that's uh, gonna add to the appeal of using this OS compared to previous versions. Now the start menu, I did talk about this in detail. A lot of you are asking me about the control panel. Well, if you just do a search for control panel and click on that search result, up comes the control panel. It's still there, looks exactly like it did in Windows 7, for example. You know, um, for those of you that are confused about the PC settings and accessing thing, things through charms, the charms bar in Windows 8 and things like that, you can still get to it here, as you can see, no problem. Now, like I mentioned, Microsoft will be getting rid of the charms um, bar that appears on the uh, right hand side but uh, for now it's a work in progress of course um, the other thing that uh, I wanted to show you is customizing okay even further I've added here a command prompt icon that I access uh, you can obviously add anything that you need to access a shortcut onto the start menu there you can also change um, uh, the behavior uh, and colors of uh, the menus for example so I know that uh, some of you think, well, I could change the theme before and just change all the colors of my background and title bars and stuff like that. But what I'm talking about is more specific to the window. So here, for example, I can control uh, what color I want the start menu to be only, right? And, uh, and um, change that start menu to be blue uh, there, for example. I keep my background green making it nice and blue. The title, uh, the taskbar is also blue. You can see right there. So you can customize certain things there. Same thing with the command prompt uh, that I have there. That is actually a new work in progress feature. I've made it um, semi-transparent. You can see right there through the window. You can obviously change the color of the background and the um, intensity of that transparency. So you can go into the properties there and uh, go into those enhancements. Again, those those work in progress enhancements and enable certain features, you know, so you can read better uh, what you're typing in there. Things will wrap better um, and be clearer for you to read, of course. And at the same time, if you like to have some some translucent, some um, uh, transparency there so you can see what's running in the background, then you can uh, enable that as well. OK, so there it gives you an example of what I did. Um, which I like actually because if you have uh, multiple windows and you're multitasking you like to, to maybe see what's happening in the background So that's not too bad. So that's a nice feature. It's been uh, seen already on other OS's before of course another thing in the store There's going to be improvements now So on on the Microsoft side of, of things when you go to uh, the App Store here and you uh, go to see your collections There's going to be new collections new uh, interface and ways of accessing things. Again, this is a work in progress, so you can expect this to be um, changed quite a bit by the time the final version comes out. But uh, this is a head start, kind of gives you an idea on what's happening. Last but not least, I'm uh, working to getting um, a comparison between the memory usage, uh, performance, and uh, how much more uh, resources is Windows 10 using compared to Windows 8, for example. Okay, so in part three, we're going to be doing that comparison between uh, Windows 8 um, and um, Windows 10 dual boot. Okay, so you can uh, see the differences. I will mention, of course, some things relating to Windows 7, so we can do some comparisons on that as well. 
and uh, and then we'll we'll get a good idea on uh, how much more improvements can we expect to see hopefully uh, when it comes to memory management and CPU usage things like that on Windows 10 compared to Windows 8 and maybe even with Windows 7 okay so stay tuned for part 3 comment below let me know what you think and uh, again if you're planning on installing uh, the Windows 10 technical preview just make sure that you understand uh, again the data collection and the privacy uh, options that Microsoft is uh, saying and uh, if you have any disagreements on that comment below let me know what you think again and stay tuned for part 3 coming up soon on the performance tests thank you for watching